The construction of this vehicle took place utilizing the modern CAD system, or computer-aided design. All of the vehicle's components are designed with an extra degree of detail in order to create and to guarantee the highest level of protection. Enclosed within a designated secure area in our factory, provisional checks are carried out on a prototype model to ascertain the main potential areas of concern regarding future ballistic tests on samples, as well as certification issues. The first course of action is to completely dismantle the Touareg down to its basic coach body shell. With the combined participation between the construction and the actual production, vehicle components can be produced with accurate precision and great detail. Doors are an essential feature on any armored vehicle. With specially designed tools and JIG template frames, the doors are prepared for the armoring process. From the beginning and throughout the duration of the production, all parts and components are strictly controlled and accurately documented for further assembly, thereby securing the future requirements for high quality parts to be duplicated and delivered for both production and after sales requirements. For the assembly, components are scanned from a three-dimensional angle to ensure the highest level of precision measurement. Our paint spray booths spray as according to plan and as according to recognized color codes DIN requirements and as according to recognized color codes DIN requirements. Discretion still remains a part of the process within our modern high-tech production plant. Originating from previously made models and mold forms, the specially prepared armored steel shapes are checked for the first time for a precise fitting. As a benchmark for your security, CF tests are conducted as according to the strict European regulation requirement, BVR-1999 procedures applied to the original equipment manufacturers or OEMs such as Mercedes-Benz, Audi and BMW. Under controlled laboratory conditions, certain safety measures are once again checked before parts and components enter the production process. In order to make the test conditions as realistic as possible, we use upstream body plates. Once again, controlled ballistic testing takes place to guarantee that all angles have been ballistically covered. In respect to all materials we procure, particular attention is paid towards the highest level of quality control. Only when the components have gone through and passed the most stringent ballistic testing can the materials be used. The armoring of the vehicles is only carried out with skilled and experienced professional craftsmen. After the prototype model has completed its ballistic shooting qualification, this is quickly followed up with the blast testing. Once again, particular attention has to be paid towards potential critical gap areas. Although each shot fired is accurately accounted for, ballistic testing takes place with the support of a technical instrument designed to measure each round's exact velocity.
The ballistic integrity of the vehicle's roof area is even tested at a height of 10 meters. For maximum reassurance, the official testing angle of 45 degrees on the roof is once increased to a full 90 degrees. Our especially designed emergency roof exit was also incorporated throughout the duration of the shooting and blast tests. A total of 498 shots with alternating calibers, including multi-hits, were fired. The armoring was able to withstand 10 blast tests, which were placed at various critical angles and positions around and on the actual vehicle. The hand grenades were obtained from a diverse source of international munitions manufacturers commonly available and used throughout most conflict regions worldwide. The hand grenades created an assorted range of blast effects. Even the blast effect force was tested using a high-tech modern crash test dummy simulating a human body. The test results were successful with no harmful effects or potential injuries. The vehicle is now set up for the ultimate test, the simulated improvised explosive device, roadside explosion. For the purpose of examination and analysis, the test vehicle is brought back to the works location for assessment and a general first impression as to how the vehicle stood up to the stringent tests. While the Volkswagen regular series vehicles are being worked upon in our modern production facilities, further tests are being conducted out on another prototype model to address the vehicle's road holding capabilities and vehicle dynamics. With additional independent specialist technical support and the assistance of experts in this field, the test vehicle is put through its paces. Readings are taken from various strategic locations around the vehicle's structure. The results are once again impressive showing that the VW Touareg can hold its own, even against the original OEM non-armored vehicle. In order to comply with European traffic conformity regulations, the vehicle was tested inside out by the TUV North, the German Engineering Inspection Authorities, in the Contidrum near Hanover. Parallel to the customary driving tests, for example with excessive lane change and skid pan maneuvers, the armored VW Touareg passed the critical elk test. Even with exaggerated oversteering and pushed to the limits, the driver held the vehicle fully under control. After completion of the development stage, the armored vehicle can enter the series production phase. After completion of the development stage, the armored vehicle can enter the series production phase. Finally, with a production period of three months, the successful design and conception is finally brought into practice and is ready for future assignments.